Well, it's been over a year in the making. The new documentary, We, Not Me, shares Crest High's historic 1994 season and state championship win. Shamar Finney and uh, Lee Ray are here with me this morning. They have a look at the story from behind the scenes. They're actually putting together this documentary. Gentlemen, good to see both of you. Shamar, I'm going to start with you. You were part of this championship team. As you've been putting together this project and thinking back at 1994, what are some of your most salient memories? Well, we remember the loss of Donnie. Um, that death of Donnie halfway through the season was really difficult to deal with. And we had to find a way to come together as a family and finish the season out. Um, we had no idea that we would win the state championship, but we wanted to dedicate the season to him. And under Mike Stewart's leadership, we was able to do that. And, and talk a little bit about that, because he had been the coach since 87. What changed in either 94 or leading up to 1994 that this team kind of made that turn? Well, our program was a little slow. Um, we didn't have a weight room program when he got there in 87. Um, so we had to get a weight room program. We had to have better athletes. Um, and then we had uh, a, lot of, a lot of kids from different communities, you know, different uh, communities that were struggling with different um, issues. So Coach Stewart had to find a way to bring all those kids together and teach them this We Not Me principle. Um, and it taught us to be not selfish, but to put your team before everything and everything would work out. Lee, how do you put a different spin on this particular story than some of the other high school football movies we've seen? Well, actually, it's kind of like what Shamar said. It's, it's about Donnie. It's a small town story where we were known as being the losers and, you know, coming up short. Then we went. In 1994, we began undefeated, and that tragic loss with Donnie, you know, us, the We Not Me principals, Coach Stewart, taking kids from drug-infested in communities, kids that didn't have dads, and making them, you know, like brothers. Now, now Lee Schmart, talk a little bit about, I think faith plays a big role in this, yeah. too, and when did you realize that that was one of the themes? Well, when we got, when we, we, we finished the regular season 10-0, and 0, um, and Coach Bryson, was uh, very instrumental in teaching us to believe, believe, believe. Um, and I think when we got to that point and we faced West Charlotte in the first round of the playoffs, um, we started to believe that this could possibly happen. Uh, we have never beat West Charlotte up until 1994, and when we beat them, things started to come into place. Mm. And you were telling me earlier that you all kind of felt, and still to this day, the community feels that this death kind of brought an angel over Crest High School. Absolutely. Most of the historic plays of 1994 happened on the 30-yard line. And that happened to be Donnie Lewis's number, number 30. Wow. Donnie was a fun-loving, happy-go-lucky guy. You know, you see in the film that Dr. Litton, who was the high school principal then, mm -hmm. he saw Donnie that day before, you know, that tragic accident. And what it did, it was just brought a community close together. Like I mentioned, a lot of us didn't have dads, came from neighborhoods that was less desirable, and that loss of Donnie just kind of brought us all together and we, we, mm. we just never forget. All right, so as we move forward, a lot of people want to see the film. It is still being edited. When are people going to have the opportunity? It's going to be January the 12th. January okay. 12th, we'll have it out there. We're going to have some viewing parties in Shelby, North Carolina, Don, Don Gibson's Theater, Gardner Webb University, and we plan to get out on the field at Crest High School Great. and have a big viewing party. All right, for people who want some more information so they can get there for those dates, where can they get that information? You can go to Facebook, www.facebook.com backslash the charger. We not me. You can't miss us. All right, there you all go. All right, great. We'll also link that up on our web channel, wccbcharlotte.com, so folks can find out all about it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.